All right, people. I have sat back long enough and kept my mouth shut about the whole school shooting in Florida and the gun control and the blame on this and the blame on that. Um, I do not blame the gun, okay? I blame the person who used that gun. Guns are not technically dangerous. Um, they're only dangerous in the hands that you put them in. Now, my problem is, is this kid was reported to the FBI a, a couple of times. FBI didn't do shit about it. Um, so, if anybody wants to blame anybody, it shouldn't be the NRA or uh, President Trump or this or that. Maybe it should be the FBI who did not respond to something as serious as this. Now, I've been sitting and looking at things on social media, and I am getting so tired of people posting stuff saying, oh, there's been 18 shootings just this year alone, and it's only February. Okay, well, people, before you start, you know, making something seem like it's bigger than it is, um, anytime, yes, anytime, there is a shooting involved at a school. It is serious, okay? But out of those 18 incidences, there were only three where gunmen actually entered the school and started opening fire. Um, in one incident, uh, it was a, uh, what, what was it, a, a third grader or a fourth grader who um, accidentally discharged a security guard's gun and it shot into the floor. Uh, there was another incident where there was um, a bullet had went through the wall uh, because it, not of a shooting at the school, it was outside of the school, but as you know, bullets don't have targets. They just go everywhere. I mean, so people seriously need to do their research and, and, and quit hyping shit up and making it seem like it's it's, you know, horrible more horrible than what it is people need to do their research people need to stop listening to fake news people really need to stop blaming president trump because he is only the president he is not superman he is not god he cannot control every single person in the united states he can't control anybody in the united states what i do believe i do seriously believe that it needs to be a federal law that you need to be 21 years of age to purchase a weapon. I also believe that there does need to be an extensive, damn, I can't even talk, background check. If you are mental or been on, you're on uh, mental medication or you're seeing a psychiatrist or you suffer from depression and whatnot, I don't believe you need a weapon. I do not believe that you need to have a gun. Uh, you're not mentally stable. There's no way that, that anybody should give a mental, you know, somebody who's not mentally stable a, a weapon that can cause mass destruction. I mean, seriously. But, I mean, people just need, just need to stop. I mean... Everybody's blaming Trump. Talking about, Trump, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Well, um, the one thing that Trump can do is make it a federal law that you have to be 21 years of age to purchase a weapon. Um, now, I know that the NRA, they do fund our Senate and our government and our politicians and our president and all this and blah, blah, blah. You know what? I don't think that we should just turn the other cheek when it comes to um, gun safety. And, and as far as gun control, we're never going to get rid of guns. Never. Um, guns are not all bad, okay? Guns aren't bad, period. It, it's the people that use them. Um, guns do protect people. Guns do save lives. So we're not going to get rid of guns. But as far as gun control... I think we need to make our laws a little bit more stricter on purchase, purchasing a, a gun. And um, I also believe that if you are caught with a gun illegally, I think your punishment ought to be really severe. I mean, seriously. Um, I just, th this is just all crazy. 
it is very, very, very sad and unfortunate that um, that that guy, that child, killed all those people. It, it, it is just, it, it, it's so heartbreaking, um, especially on Valentine's Day. I, I mean, I couldn't imagine. I just couldn't. Um, and there were so many heroes there, so many heroes that, that you know, jumped in front of the gunman and, and saved so many lives. And it's just, it, it, it's heartbreaking. My heart and prayers go out to the families and the victims and everybody that was affected by this. Now, I know some people are mad and upset and trying to turn it into a race thing, which racism needs to die. It needs to stop. Um, a lot of people are upset because the guy was arrested alive. Uh, and people are saying it's because he's white. Um, for one, he was apprehended in a public place at McDonald's. So, was the cop supposed to go in there and just open fire and put all those other people in danger? Um, not all cops are bad. Some cops do follow the rules. There are some cops that are not trigger happy. And I do believe that if you are a police officer, if you are racist in any way, shape, or form, or prejudiced, or you discriminate against anybody, I do not think you need to be an officer at law, of law at all. I just don't. But I am so sick and tired of everything being turned into a race thing. You know, what ha what would everybody have said if it was a black kid that went in there and shot up that school? I mean, seriously. What, what if it would have been a Mexican kid or an Asian kid or, you know, seriously, what... The big focus is, is that there was a, a mentally disturbed child um, that committed a horrible, heinous crime. I mean, it was horrible. It doesn't matter what color his skin was, it, you know, and I mean, now all of a sudden people want cops to shoot and kill people? Why? I mean, I, 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 people make up your minds, man. You, you can't be on both sides of the fence. You, you can't use that to your advantage when it plays in your favor. I mean, seriously. there. I mean, there's just so much going on right now. You know, and I believe this is a distraction for something else that's going on. Um, but the thing is, with the 18 school shootings, um, only three of those were where gunmen entered the school and, and fired shots. Um, the rest were just minor incidences. It, it wasn't no one getting shot. It wasn't no one going crazy. Um, so it just, I don't know, man. It just all really needs to end. It needs to stop. We all need to come together. Divided, we will fall. United, we will conquer. And we need to be united. And we need to see each other all as equals. And I don't think the color of your skin should matter. I don't think your gender should matter. I don't think your sexual preference should matter. Um, we are all the same race. We are all humans. And we just, our world is crazy. Our world is crazy right now. And after everything that we've been through, you know, we need to come together. We seriously need to come together at all as one. We need to see each other as one. And we need to kill this race war. It needs to stop. It is getting out of control. It is just ridiculous. I just, I, I don't understand why people can have so much hate in their heart just because of the color of someone's skin. I mean, seriously, that, that, that shouldn't matter shouldn't matter what color your skin is. It should matter on what kind of person you are, not the color of your skin. So that's my little rant and rave today about the gun shooting and a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I will be uh, making more videos. Um, I haven't done this stuff in a while, so I'm kind of new to this again, uh, but uh, I am trying to... Um, be as, as nice and polite as I possibly can and use as um, 
unoffensive words as possible. But if I do offend anybody, I do apologize. But this is 2018. I think people need to have some thicker skin and quit being so butthurt. And uh, open your eyes and see what is real. And uh, just everybody be kind to one another. Please be kind. And if you see signs of someone who is mentally unstable and you think that they're going to harm themselves or harm others, say something. Don't be scared to say something. You know, you could be saving somebody's life. Seriously. Think about that.